being recorded. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Edgy Conversations. My name is Bronwyn Corlett uh, for Edge, and I am here with Joanna, and she's going to tell me all about an exciting new partnership uh, that she has been working on or part of. Um, so we are going to start. Joanna, we're going to just jump right in. Tell us about your community of faith. Hi, Robin. Thank you so much for, uh, for having me. So uh, my name is Joanna, and I'm uh, the lead community worker at a place called the Dale Ministries, which is in uh, Parkdale, which is in sort of the southwest corner of Toronto. And we, um, as a community, have been in Parkdale for quite a long time in a few different iterations. Um, we historically were Parkdale uh, Baptist Church, and then the, the neighborhood of Parkdale went through quite a lot of changes um, over the course of the last hundred years, going from a very affluent neighborhood to one that um, is marked by more poverty and uh, mental health. And so um, the Dale has sort of changed along with the neighborhood. And so um, right now we are, a, we're a nomadic community. So we don't have space of our own. Uh, we partner with various organizations in the neighborhood um, to use space and to um, both receive hospitality from these organizations and also offer hospitality to folks in the neighborhood who need uh, friendship, which we all need, uh, or food, which we also all need. Um, so we sort of do life together and uh, worship together on Sundays and participate in outreach and pastoral visits throughout the week as well. Um, so there's much more of it, like a delightful tale, but for the purposes of this uh, conversation, we, um, one thing to know about us is that we really love partnerships and that's how we operate is um, through having a lot of um, relationships with different organizations. And so for this particular grant, we uh, were able to partner with another organization in Parkdale called Ongin. So they, um, they are a social enterprise organization that has a few different um, initiatives, one of which is a uh, social enterprise kitchen. And so one of the buildings that Dale um, has been using, especially during COVID, has been a church in Parkdale called Epiphany and St. Mark's Anglican Church. And um, so we've been using space sort of as our, our home base to run programming out of. And um, Ongin more recently joined, um, there's a, a number of organizations in this church and they happen to be right next door to us. So if you hear any banging or whirring, it's, it's them next door making, making soup. Um, yeah, so we were able to, to partner with them thanks to the grant um, from United, Way, United Church. That is so interesting. Well, and I'm just so curious about how the Dale is set up and how it, it sounds like there's a lot of flexibility and building of partnerships, which is uh, something something that is um, has its own challenges uh, in, in even developing those partnerships. Can, so can you tell me a bit about how it came about this partnership or were you were you neighbors that you became friends? <laughs> Yeah, it really was mostly from being next door neighbors in this church that we became aware of each other. And then um, a couple of staff members from Ongin um, who, who don't work right in the kitchen, but um, have other roles in the organization. They, um, I guess, had heard about the, the grant through the United Church and approached us to ask if we might be interested in partnering with them so that it could be a real win-win like, scenario because um, the idea was that we would apply for the grant um, from, from the United Church, receive the money, and then take that money and purchase um, meals from Ongin and then take those meals and give them out in the community um, because we, we do give out um, quite a few meals throughout the week. And so this will be in addition to those meals. And so um, the unique thing about the Onion 
soups. The program is called All Dried Up. So they create these really nutritious um, soups and chilies, and they're expanding into other things too, but they started with soups and, and chilies. And they create them in the kitchen next door and then dehydrate them and package them into little, I should have should have brought one, but um, so they're, yeah, it's little packages like this uh, with instructions about how to rehydrate them. So all you need in order to use uh, this meal is uh, some way to access hot water. So a kettle or even just really hot water from a tap. Um, so you like reconstitute it. And so this is ideal for people who uh, may not have kitchen facilities of their own or um, don't have a lot of kitchen skills or are even homeless and are able to access hot water somewhere and, and a bowl and then reconstitute these meals to be a really healthy, um, warm meal that uh, we're able to give out very easily because it's just a package. We don't need to worry about, you know, packaging up a, a warm meal, but we can just give it out. So yeah, so it really was just because we were neighbors and um, we were approached to apply for the grant and it just made so much sense. Right. Um, yeah. Mm. Well, I like you talking about the win-win where it was really matched both of, you know, both needs or two needs. Um, Cause I think that's, that's often, I, I hear churches concerned about, you know, uh, not being able to offer things or like, I don't know, sometimes I've, I've just found uh, when applying for grants or even entering partnerships, um, there's sort of a hesitancy that, that we can, mm -hmm. that there can be a win-win, put it that way. Um, uh -huh. So what has surprised you in this relationship? Is there anything evolved out of that? Yeah, I would say um, what has surprised and delighted us is that uh, because we um, have this partnership, we're now more than just neighbors and we are starting to get to know um, the staff who work at Ongin a little bit more. And as we um, have done some promotional videos and things for this partnership too, um, even that just, you know, making a little video together has created or deepened, I guess, relationships. Um, and the Another sort of delightful thing is that because we are literally next door, the um, the sort of admin costs or the um, transportation costs that normally you would need to work into a grant, like there is no transportation cost because we walk honestly five steps next door, get the soup and walk five steps back <laughs> to our office and then distribute the meals. So that's been, I think what other people hear about this partnership, that's been the surprising thing. It's like, oh, it really can be that that easy, which what also is what made it make so much sense. Mm -hmm. Right. And working with one's neighbors. So it sounds like things are um, I guess evolving organically by this by, by what uh, you're saying too. And but do you have an idea of where you see it going? Do is there is there mm -hmm. any, any hopes or dreams for what's to come? So we have funding for the rest of the year. So to be able to distribute, I think the total is over 600 servings to the community. Um, and yeah, if we continue to, to get funding in the future, we would love to keep um, partnering with them because again, it is it is such a good thing for, for the community and supporting um, a social enterprise and getting to know getting to know our neighbors. So yeah, we would love to continue if we're able to. So it sounds like this has been a very um worked very well practically. You're right next door and there's you know uh things work really well. Uh and where or how do you see the spirit uh at work in this in this partnership? Mm -hmm. well, I think um going back again just to the to deepening of relationships, which I think is what the spirit is really, you know, all about. Um, and so I, I do see um, the, like, I love the idea of the, the Trinity, you know, being sort of the original community, like Father, Son, and Spirit being, being this relationship. And so anytime that I see 
relationships in community deepening and becoming more rich and um, and mutual. I think that to me is always evidence of the spirit. And so I feel like in this in this way that may not seem like church uh, from the outside, it, it really, I think, is. And we, we say that at the Dale a lot, that everything that we do, not just our Sunday service, but all the things that we do, eating together and making art together and, you know, discussing the Bible together and creating, you know, meals and, and distributing them is all, um, is all church because it does all deepen that relationship and, and the community that we um, are able to be part of here. That is wonderful. And it does, I have to say what I hear echoed in the, in, in what you're saying is, is that, uh, is our call, the United Church call right now, like the deep spirituality and the bold discipleship. And I mean, it's really lived out. Uh, I, I, I think those, that call would be lived out just, uh, in what you're doing of, you know, the basics, but the, uh, the miracles of just feeding, getting to know your neighbors and feeding, uh, feeding those in need, uh, and, and nurturing nurturing each other. So thank you uh, so much for what you're doing. Is there any anything else you want to share about uh, the Dale or your partnership with a social enterprise or uh, anything else? Uh, well, I would say we always love having visitors if anyone wants to come say hello at the Dale. Um, yeah, we have lots more information on our website, which is just thedale.org. Um, so if anyone is curious or wants to come visit Parkdale, we would love to love to have you. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for all that you are doing. Thedale.org is what I heard. So uh, we maybe we'll see if we can put it up. And uh, and many blessings. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Thank you so much.